So I didn't weight lift for an entire year and still boosted my testosterone. How did I do it? It's with this. It's called a gua sha blade. And I'm gonna tell you what the hell this is and how I got introduced to it. But just to put things in perspective, I had been weightlifting for about eight years. Since 2013, when I you know, first got into fitness, I really wanted to boost my testosterone levels. My testosterone was 376 nanograms per deciliter. That's the testosterone of an 82 year old man. So I just went on this journey. It's like, you know what? I'm gonna gain muscle, I'm gonna lose fat and I'm gonna just double my testosterone levels naturally. So for about eight years, I, you know, I did good nutrition, I, I tried to do as much lifting as I could, but for about the last year and a half, I just stopped weightlifting altogether. Now, why did I do that? When I was in Dallas in March, uh, no, May to June, 2022, okay? I did jujitsu there. And I did jujitsu every single day. And what happened is in one of the grapples I had with this 300 pound guy, he landed on a part of my leg, which sort of busted my big toe. It, it really hurt my big toe, big time. <laughs> and uh, I have known one of my friends, Sumer, who owns a gym in Austin. I've known him for so long. He's been training me since I was in Kiev, right? So like four years of training. And he also, he all the time talked about this thing, a gua sha blade, right? And I had no idea what this was or how important it was. So when I got injured in jujitsu, he told me, Farhan, take a one year break and just follow my program for a year to connect the whole body from big toe to head, right? Connect the whole body. Now, I knew this was good for me, why? Because when I was in Florida at strength camp with Elliot Hulse, I wore these shorts, which monitored which muscles were being activated in my body. And I found out that my glutes were completely asleep. So I knew I had to work on my glutes somehow. I just didn't know how bad it was. So when I was doing jujitsu and this injury happened, it triggered me again, said, hey, I've been working on my glutes for a while. You know, they're strong, but there's something about the connection from the big toe to the hip and, and all the way to the shoulder and lats, which is missing. Something is missing with the big toe connection. And Sumer had all the time been talking about the gua sha blade. He'd been telling me he's been doing, he'd been doing videos, but I never paid attention to him. I kind of like ignored him. And the reason I ignored him, and this is interesting because I always went for the aesthetics, you know, the, 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 the good look, you know, the six pack, the, 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 the muscular lean look. And Sumer didn't really have that, but of course he's natural, right? A lot of the guys you see at the gym with this rip look, they're on TRT, they're taking testosterone injections. I mean, even the guys in their 20s and 30s are doing it. So I, I didn't pay attention to him initially, but when I had this massive injury and I love jujitsu so much, and he told me to take a year break, that broke my heart because I thought I would have to take a year off of something I love in order to return to it with full strength. And, and, and feeling the power and, and not getting injured all the time. And I saw other guys at Jiu Jitsu getting injured. Like they'd be injured literally like every few weeks I saw them, you know, with a, with a cast on or with like a bandaid on or something. So to avoid injury, I listened to Sumer. And by the way, he, his gym is called Train Life Fit. It's in Austin and his brand is the Unstoppable Baller if you wanna go look him up. So what I basically did was I spent a year not lifting any weights. So I, I, when I was in Tulum, uh, the last part of Tulum, um, the, when I went to Dallas, Playa del Carmen, Merida, and then back in Tulum, literally like a year and two, three months. Only for the last couple of months, I've been lifting weights. And the reason I switched is because Coach Andre came here, you know, Afro D Coach Andre, and I saw him work out and I'm like, you know what? I wanna follow the Andro workouts, the, the Andro system. So I switched about a couple of months ago, but for a year, I didn't lift any weights. And I was, and what is this gua sha blade? The gua sha blade is simply to release fascia in different parts of the body. So for example, in the big toe, yeah, my, my toe's fucked up right now uh, because uh, it's dirty, I mean, it's not fucked up, it's dirty, right? So if you see how far I can bend my big toe now, look at that. Try to do this exercise, try to do this test. See how far you can bend your big toe, right? That's my right big toe and this is my left big toe. Look how far I can bend it. Look at that. Look at that bend. Man, I wasn't able to do that at all. And the key to Sumer's training is 
connect the big toe because when you're doing a squat or, or like in jiu-jitsu we sit like this right you sit like this in jiu-jitsu look you sit like this you see look how amazing the bend is of this leg right look, look at look at how, how amazing my big toe is bending so in jiu-jitsu you do that you do that in squats when you're squatting you're squatting on your feet right on your toes so your big toe has to be super super strong and it wasn't it wasn't connected so basically sumer had me do these guasha exercises where i would literally like just scrape all the time you know strengthen the arch strengthen the heel and just keep keep doing that and and trying to trying to get you know get this type of range of movement of my toes right like this like this right and uh, also to separate this toe further right keep keep separating it like and i'm still working on it by the way it's not separate it's not separated but I started making my toes stronger and more recently my fingers stronger but I basically took a year off man and what's interesting is that when I did my blood test in Merida I had the testosterone 801 nanograms per deciliter so it was the highest it had ever been right and that was towards the middle or so of these Sumer exercises as we call them so what I would urge you to do, if you're getting injured, if you're get, having problems weightlifting, if you can, you should be able to feel your whole body, right? When you're doing a squat, like if I do a squat, right, real quick, right? If I do a squat, right, I should be able to feel, when I go up, right, I should be able to feel the glutes, right? You should be able to feel all that. Um, even like, what, and, 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 and Sumer teaches you how to gua sha the, 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 the chest, how to gua sha, the arms, right? Like the, the wrist, because you want everything to be connected from here because this is basically the big toe and you want all the way to the lat, you want this connection. And a lot of you, you're weightlifting, you're going to the gym, you're doing bicep curls, you're doing you know leg presses, but your body's not connected. Now, what change happened in me? When I first used to do squats, I would get injured, my knee would hurt, I would not feel my glutes. Now when I do squats, I love squats by the way now. I never used to love squats, now I love them. I can feel all the way from my big toe to my glutes. Like I can feel my glutes firing. I can feel my lats firing. It's amazing. Like it's, it's unbelievable results with that one year off. So what's the takeaway here? You can still boost testosterone without lifting weights as long as you connect your body in what you're doing and coat JMO. He's still doing, you know, he's, he's a beast. He's doing Sumer workouts every single day, right? I see him at Jungle Gym. I see him at, at his house or, you know, wherever he is outdoors. Even when he travels, he does Sumer exercises. So for us, Sumer has become a cult, right? For my mom, my dad, my aunt, my my cousins, my, uh, you know, my, my wife, uh, J-Mo. Like, we, we're, we're the Sumer cult here. So if you, and, 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 and this is a massive, massive endorsement for Sumer because... He's basically changed our lives. Like he was the reason that my mom lost 40 pounds last year. She would go to him in Austin every two weeks. I flew to Austin every two weeks so I could meet Sumer. This guy's phenomenal, okay? So go look up Train Life Fit, his gym in Austin. Go look up his brand, The Unstoppable Baller, and uh, and, and really, really follow what Sumer is saying. He's he wants you to strengthen your fingers, your toes. You know, use this this one guy, right, to, to scrape and the, the point is to release fascia. This is the game here, right? If you look up Human Garage, they, they talk about this stuff all the time. But Sumer has been talking about it way before them, like way before everyone. It's, you wanna release the fascia that is holding the, 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 the tissue in your body and in and as you release the fascia things start opening up and guess what happens you get blood flow you want everything to be connected so you get blood flow right you want blood flow to your to the abs to your organs to your butt to your lats to your shoulders like you want blood flow all over your body so you feel amazing all right that's why i wanted to tell you like if you just have patience, man, really have patience. I've been in the fitness game for 10 years and like, I'm still learning all the time, right? And look, don't go for, oh, I wanna lift as heavy as I can. No, go for happiness. Like what makes you happy? I don't lift that heavy. 
I lift kind of light, like, like mediocre weight, but I'm very happy with my workouts and I'm very happy with my physique and I'm confident and I can take my shirt off in public and, and be happy about it, right? I love being naked. So that perspective of how happy are you inside? Can you dance naked, right? We dance every night at the house to Bollywood music, right? So that level of happiness with your body is what you want. That's the holy grail, to be happy with your body. Not to look a certain way, not to have a, you know, not to do a certain bench press PR. That's not important, right? Gains is about happiness, fulfillment, satisfaction, confidence, all right? That's what I wanted to tell you today. Uh, really, really be patient. Even if it takes you a year to sort of connect your body, do that. Take a year to do that. And this right here saved me, the Gua Sha Blade. So go look up Sumer, join our Facebook group. If you have any questions for me, join the Facebook group Afro D Nation. I'll answer all your questions there. This is Doc Farhan giving you that flex from Jungle Gym once again today. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, man.